one in this tutorial the two strength drills you're really going to need are to be able to go back into a bridge on one arm while keeping your hips up and also be able to do a pistol squat on one leg standing up it's not necessarily required but it's really going to help you learn a good makakwempe eventually you want to try and combine those two moves so i'm basically doing a pistol squat into a one-legged bridge if you have the control to do this move, it'll also give you the confidence to know that you're not going to fall when you start to lean back into a macaco and pay. Your next baby step is to fall back into this with your hips extended and then try and jump into your macaco and pay from this position while remaining hips extended. Being able to jump over the top with no momentum proves that you have the strength in your arms to hold your body through this movement. It's okay to be turning this into a cartwheel, but that's not the final result. We need to fix our hand placement, so let's do that. Step two is to be able to do a cartwheel where you turn your hips, landing the direction you came from. And it's really important that you have a line to drill where you're putting your first hand of the cartwheel on the front side of the line and the second hand of the cartwheel on the back side of the line. This is going to help turn your shoulders so that you're ending in the position of a macacompe. Once you have a good solid cartwheel where one hand is on each side of the line and you end your hips the direction you came from, it's time to start turning your hips from sideways to the direction you're coming from. You're going to employ the pistol squat technique to lean back and just slowly keep turning your hips more and more in the direction you're coming from. Another tip is to bend the first pistol squat quad pretty deep so that you're already pretty close to the ground when you're reaching that first hand back. This can be a workaround for fear issues or flexibility issues. A few extra tips, if you are still having trouble making it over, make sure that you're keeping your momentum by having one leg off the ground already as you're leaning back into your makaku and pei. Stepping forward into it can also help and making sure that you have that pistol squat bent nice and low. If you just have a mental block or fear barrier on this move, I highly suggest recruiting a friend to spot you as you practice keeping your foot straight instead of turning it sideways into a cartwheel. Then with them spotting you as you lean back with your first hand, actually watch your second hand go straight over you, follow a line on the ceiling if you can, and make sure you're placing your second hand on the same side of that shoulder. If you're not sure what I mean, you're welcome to watch the great Makako tutorial that goes over hand placement. Fixing your hips in this trick doesn't come overnight, but if you train this continually, I promise it'll get better. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will put out more tutorials soon. And in the meantime, you can find me on Only the Strongest Podcast, available on iTunes and Spotify.